Serena, as my ex-best friend, do you regret ever being with my ex-boyfriend? Hey guys, I'm Valeria. And I'm Sabrina, and this is the Hot Pepper Challenge. A lot has changed since filming Awesomeness TV's Next Influencer, but today we're gonna to be answering your burning questions. If we refuse to answer, we'll have to take a bite of a spicy pepper, so we might wanna tell the truth because the hotter the question, the hotter the pepper. Honestly, I don't know which is worse. Let's get into it. So the first question is for Valeria. Valeria, besides me, who are you closest to on our show, Next Influencer? Um, I think I was closest to either Raul or Coley. Why did you and Julian break off your relationship after Next Influencer season one? Honestly, me and Julian were very like in the moment it happened on the show and then when the show was over, it, we both parted ways and you know, I met Cooper soon after. I completely felt head over heels for him. And that was the end of me and Julian's story and the start of me and Cooper's, so. The fans wanna know, did Julian reach out to you after the show? Julian did, maybe one or two days after the show was done filming, me and Julian and a couple other people from the cast hung out. He reached out to me again around Halloween and I didn't answer, <laughs> so. That was the last time me and Julian talked. So this next question is for both me and Valeria. On the show, what is the worst thing we said about each other behind our back? I did call Valeria controlling at some point. Uh, that I agreed with Gabby and Jada that Sabrina wanted to look like me. Sabrina will do anything Valeria does. Like she wants to be Valeria so bad. I mean, I'm guessing I'm flattered because Sabrina is pretty cute and I mean, I'm pretty cute too, so. <laughs> That's the worst thing I said. Have you ever disliked someone I've dated? And if so, who? Uh, no, I haven't. Well, actually, <laughs> um. actually, now that I'm thinking about it, um, there was one guy. When they were together, I did not like the way he treated her. I think he could have treated her better. Yeah, I knew you were gonna say that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sabrina, what was your reaction to the Jara twins releasing footage from the set and trying to ruin your current relationship? I mean, <laughs> I was at a photo shoot when it all happened and I literally just looked at it and I was just so confused because, you know, it's not like I hid anything. It was all on a show. I didn't know what they were trying to do. I would like to clarify something. Um, on the podcast, you said that I knew they were gonna do that. I just wanna tell you, I did not know. In New York, the only thing they did say was that if Serena goes out and says that the whole show was acting, I wouldn't be scared to say something online. But just so you know, I didn't know. Okay. Did you know that Jada tried to get Coley off the show before the quarantining and filming started? That Jada tried to get Coley off the show? <laughs> Okay, just keep your mind, okay? <laughs> what? Wait, I did not know that. I didn't know that either. Were you ever embarrassed by me on the show? No, I wasn't. Oh, okay. I, I, know Valer I knew Valeria so well. I knew like how she handled things and when she meant something and when she didn't. What she said. <laughs> Were you jealous of me when I got my nose job first? No, not a lot of people know this, but me and Sabrina were actually supposed to get a nose job together. <laughs> yeah. And it didn't end up happening, but we had been talking about it for the longest time. We were like, we're getting a nose job, like we're going to Columbia together, like let's do it, let's do it. I can confirm that. We were literally going to do it together. Like it wasn't like a who did it first. Were you ever going to tell me about being with my ex-boyfriend? Um, <laughs> honestly, yeah, I would have. Right when the show started, I was actually talking about it a lot with Gabby. We were like trying to figure out how what was the best way for me to do it. And then you guys broke up and I was like, this is just not the time. Valeria, when and how did you find out about me and your ex? Um, so this was after we had broken up and I got an unknown call and they basically just said, they were like, you should stop defending Sabrina on TikTok room. She's not your real friend, her and used to like have their thing so and i yeah. just texted her i remember saying do you have something to tell me and then we talked yeah like honestly oh I and then jada J well jada confirmed it for me because everybody yeah. everybody in the group chat was just like it's not our place to say and then i hung up and then jada called me and kind of like confirmed it all yeah but yeah it she, wasn't her that called me first i don't know what unknown number called me 
Do you think Gabby made this mysterious phone call? And if so, are you mad at her? No, I actually genuinely don't think Gabby did because when all of this happened, she reached out to me and was genuinely so sorry that this is even like that it even came from her. Yeah, I want to know who the back and forth person is. Like saying I'm sorry to Sabrina and then saying I'm sorry to me and like saying all this. Who said that 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 I knew that Julian and Giovanni were gonna expose you? Like who said this? Like who be running their mouth saying all this stuff? I mean, I think I have my like suspicions. You're probably right. <laughs> well, obviously it was probably Gabby because Sabrina told her her big secret and look, she told Jada and then Jada told everyone else. So in conclusion, don't trust Gabby. It wasn't Gabby, so. so I'm not gonna say who it is though. So if I need to eat a pepper, let me know. Eat a pepper, yes. <laughs> okay. <All right. laughs> Is everyone ready? Oh my god. Yeah? Okay. Mm, yummy. It's not even hot. <laughs> Wait, she eats jalapenos. I would actually like to know this personally. Um, so Sabrina, as my ex-best friend, do you regret ever being with my ex-boyfriend? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Even, like, yeah, 100%. If I could take it back, I would. Valeria, if this hadn't come to light, would you still be with your ex? No. No, yeah. I would not be with that cheating, lying, manipulative snake. So, how many times were you and my ex really together? Twice. Then we never talked again. Until I met you. Did you try to get me kicked off of Awesomeness TV's next influencer before we started quarantining and filming? No, never. Damn, we're really not eating any peppers. <laughs> Next question is, how did everyone in the house know about the whole thing except me? Like, did you guys communicate about it? Or, I mean, I think you answered this. It was just Gabby running her mouth. Yeah, I didn't tell, I didn't tell anybody. I told Gabby, I guess she started telling people. I'm pretty sure the pressure of the show and everything just kind of got to her head and she just told Jada thinking Jada wouldn't say anything. Then Jada went and told everyone. But honestly, I'm not mad. I have no grudges against any of them. I feel like it had to come out eventually. And if it came out this way, then that's fine. Valeria, have you ever betrayed me? No. When we were friends, no. Um, I would say now that we aren't friends, I definitely went on social media and said my truth. But um, definitely out of anger and since my whole life is on social media i had all the right to go out on social media i'm very like 100 with my fans and uh, if they ask me a question i'm just gonna be real about it valeria off the show what's the worst thing we both said about each other behind our backs a lying manipulative backstabber playing victim person there yeah that's probably the worst thing i've said i called you ungrateful um, so this I actually really want to know, Sabrina, why did you make a TikTok with my ex a week after everything happened? Valeria's ex was like, I'm going to be in LA, I'm going up with, the, um, I'm with my best friend and they ever, like, got a hotel and then they both came over and like collabed with all the girls. So it was really not that like as deep as people made it, like, oh, like she's getting revenge, like, no, it just kind of happened. Him and his family reached out to me and basically like, told me a lot of stuff and like said they were gonna be there for me and like literally just said that like we don't know because there's a lot of things that valeria said that weren't true i just want to know what lies are we talking about like what lies are maybe like can we like let's squash this like let's clarify this like what what lies are we talking about because i also want to clarify some things that you said on the podcast you said that i would go to their house to see him which is just not true at all. Like I would never, I didn't even drive. Like I did, what? Like no, I didn't do that. So yeah, like most people know that I dated her ex's brother for like a month. Valeria, you said that like we ended things because of me and your ex and like what happened, which is not true again, because he knew the entire time. And then you said that their mom would like warn you guys and like do all this stuff, which to my understanding, I talked to their mom was the other way around for multiple okay, reasons. She is fake like i'm just gonna be straight up with you right now like she is fake as like i don't care if she watches this if they all watch this like everything they said to you they were kissing your because they were scared and then another thing like one thing that you said on the podcast 
Like, I don't care if you wanna like, I wanna clear something up, like I don't care if you wanna talk about me, talk about my friends, whatever. But one thing is my mom, like I want to really clarify this, like my mom's name, like I don't want it in anybody's mouth and I want you to know that she is not homophobic. I will admit, my mom did not have a good feeling about Sabrina ever since we started being friends. Um, and I would always defend her to my mom. I'd be like, no, no, like, trust me, like, she's my best friend. She always had a bad feeling. Um, she, I guess, didn't like her because she thought she was a bad influence or because um, she thought, like, she had, like, had this weird obsession with me. But it was never because she was bi. I just want to clarify that. I don't know why um, my ex's mom is over here running her mouth saying that. I don't know. But, you know, in the moment, like, the way that you were handling things and the way that your mom was handling things because your mom did not say some very nice things about me in that moment when I before I went to the podcast like literally the day before she did not say nice things about me and it all got back to me yeah she was very very pissed off so <laughs> like what did you think I was gonna do like did you think I was gonna believe your mom or you like of course not. no yeah obviously obviously you're gonna believe them and that's why I'm glad we're here today to clarify I don't know, I just also, like, I really just want you, like, I know we haven't really been able to talk about this, I just want you to put yourself in my position, like, how would you feel? I did! Like, any girl watching this, you cannot tell me you would not react the way I reacted, like, just, like, I wouldn't, Blair. there's no denying it. I'm telling you straight there's to your face, like, put me on the lie detector, I would you not You wouldn't be mad? That way. Of course I'd be mad. But you wouldn't be mad, exactly, of you course. wouldn't be mad. But I would have not That's what I'm saying, any, I have okay, any whole girl would be mad. I'm sorry, I wouldn't have. Especially with the way that I like reached out to you and apologized and apologized. Like, don't say I didn't put myself in your shoes because I did, and I was genuinely sorry. And I said that so many times. Uh, oh, and I also want to clarify on your podcast, you said that I called you a slut and that I was slut shaming you. I just don't know when the word. When did the word slut ever come out of my mouth? I've never slut shamed. You don't have to what say I the word say, slut to call me a slut. But all you I said, said was what that you she were was with, with you were with my ex, you were with her brother, and now you want the third one. Like I just, just the truth. Like I what do you think that's saying? saying? The like what do you think you were the saying? Word, I saying never that? said slut. Like you literally said on the podcast that I called you a slut. What did you think that was saying? Like did you think that was just like oh like a casual comment? Like how did you think that made me feel? Of course I was gonna go on the podcast because. Like, even though you thought these things were real and you thought they were true, they weren't, and I had to defend myself. You want to know who told me these things, that you would pull up to his house at night just to see him? Yeah, what? where did you his, get that from? His, his own mom, his own mom that called you and told you that she was on your side, called me and told me that you're not my friend, that I shouldn't trust you, and that you would pull up to see like you would pull up and you were weird and like you would pull up late at night to see them blah blah, blah. his own mom told that's me that. not true so there's just so many parts of the story that were just completely not communicated because you wouldn't answer my phone calls so that isn't my fault you were my best friend and i told you things that i have never told anybody about things that i went through things that i struggled with and how poor my mental health was in the moment so I want to know if you even considered that before publicly putting my sex life on the internet and calling me all the names that you did. Don't even try saying you didn't call me names because you called me plenty. No, no, because I was lied to for literally 10 months and I have never lied to you. And I know I didn't think about like, oh, her mental health. No, like, did you think about when you started becoming my best friend? Did you not think, oh, I need to tell her? This and that, did you not think, oh my god, how is she gonna feel when I tell her? So no, I wasn't thinking about your mental health, how this, I was, I was doing horrible, my heart was broken, my best friend and my boyfriend, like, so no, I was not thinking about your mental health, that was the last thing I was thinking about. Well, I did think about your mental health, and I didn't tell you because of it. How did you think like, about my mental health, what? but then you're gonna go and make a video with my ex? Like, it literally just proved how, like, hypocritical you are, like, before, when we were friends, you hated him, like you literally hated him. You would tell me all the time, like I yeah, hated him. I did. And then like, then you're gonna because go make I know, with him because now we're I know up. what he put. I know what he put you through. Like I did hate him, I did. But then when you did all so that, what made you, what made you stop hating him when he reached out to you? Yeah, and said I'm on your side. Yeah, you're right. Valeria's always the victim. Like, 
Okay, Valeria. Um, do you regret the way you handled things between us? Not really. Like, I feel like I always say this. I never, like, I try not to regret things in life because I feel like everything I do has always taught me a lesson. And you got a lot of hate, but I also got a lot of hate. You know, your fans were on your side, my fans were on my side. So I guess it just taught me a lesson. So I don't really regret how I went about it. Um, I do wish things would have been different. I think I, I do regret how things went down. I think that I could have, like, myself um, made things a lot better by telling her sooner. But I feel like I've gotten to a point where I don't really regret it because it, like, taught me a lot taught me a lot and it it kind of made me see like a lot of people in different ways and I feel like I've just grown a lot from it. This is the final question that the producers gave us and it is do you think we can ever be friends again? Honestly like I do catch myself missing us sometimes but I mean I think like things happen for a reason and if we're not friends it's for a reason. Like where I'm at right now, I feel like after I cut out um, these people out of my life, like the world has literally been smiling at me. I have never been so happy. So honestly, I don't really know. I, I wouldn't say no and I wouldn't really say yes. I don't really think about our friendship the same way I used to. I think of all the stuff that happened and it just isn't, like it isn't ever really positive. Honestly, the answer is I have no idea. But right now in the moment, I don't think so. But yeah, I'm always gonna love you though. Same. <laughs> yeah. So obviously this was a very intense video, but I feel like it needed to happen. I feel like it broke a lot of the tension that me and Sabrina had had on social media. Comment down below a few chili pepper emojis if you like this video. Make sure to subscribe to Awesomeness and follow us on TikTok. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.